hi, this is Ed Baig with USA Today, and we're going to take a quick tour of the new Photos app for OS X that Apple is bringing to the Mac in a few weeks. Now, I'm scrolling up and down to give you a sense of how fast this, uh, this program is. The interface is very clean, fluid. Right now, the Photos tab is highlighted, and we'll come back here. But let me quickly show you what happens if you click Shared. Here you can look at some pictures and videos that you've shared or that others have shared with you, including some comments. Albums, pretty self-explanatory, various albums, uh, you know, for, for your trips or activities, backpacking here. Up here, Apple has uh, put together some albums on your behalf, so all the panoramas, for example, are in one place, all the videos in one place, all the slow motion videos in one place, and so on. There's even an album for faces. This is Apple's use of facial recognition for pulling all the pictures together of, say, Grandma. And there they are. And then there's the Projects tab, which is where you can create photo books, uh, greeting cards, photo calendars, and so on. But let's move back to, to the Photos tab. Now, Apple is applying the same principle here, the same organizing structure as it has applied on on the iPhone and the iPad, the Photos app there. So if you're familiar with how it works there, there's not much of a learning curve here. Photos are grouped into so-called moments. So here's all of a, the moment in this case, the pictures you took in Bryce Canyon on September 20th, 2013. Here are moments uh, for your trip to the boardwalk, Monument Valley, and so forth. Now when you back out of that, you're into a larger group of photos these are the collections. So this covers, you know, a wider period typically. So now we have the photos taken be, uh, in Lafayette and Stanley between October 10th uh, and January 3rd. You can see other collections, photos taken in the Bay Area, photos taken uh, in, uh, in Ketchikan, in Alaska, and so on. Back out yet again, now we have a yearly view. All the photos you took in 2014, 2013, and so on. How do you find a photo? One way to do it, press down on the trackpad, scrub along, you get these nice preview images. When you find what you want, release, there's your picture. You have a lot of options once you have a picture on the screen. Designated a favorite. Pull up some info on the camera used, where it was shot. You can add it to an album, a calendar, a book, slideshow, etc. And, of course, you can share it in various ways or post it on Twitter, Facebook, Flickr. And edit the photo in a number of ways. Now, you can just click this Enhance button and Apple will try to enhance the photo if you don't like the result. Revert to the original by clicking there. You can certainly rotate the picture. Crop it in various ways, including, by the way, straightening it if it was crooked. Which it wasn't. You can apply filters, give it that noir effect or the fade effect, and you can apply various adjustments to lighting, color, black and white. Drag these smart sliders and you can actually see how the photo changes. Change the neutrals here. Now, the new Photos app is also tied into Apple's iCloud Photo Library, which is where you'll be able to store all your pictures in the cloud and view them from an iPhone, iPad, or your Mac, or iCloud.com. And if you snap a picture on your iPhone or iPad, that picture will just show up in the cloud, in the cloud and on your other devices. And if you apply an editing change uh, to the picture, say on your computer, you know, make it black and white, say, that will turn up as well uh, when you look at it from your phone or another device. Now, you will have to pay for storage in some case. You get five gigabytes in the cloud for free. If that's not enough, you can, uh, you can upgrade all the way up to a full terabyte, which is $19.99 a month. I think people will be really impressed with Photos for OS X, which is based into an upgrade coming to Yosemite in a few weeks. It promises to brighten up the way you store, organize, admire, and share your pictures. For USA Today, I'm Ed Baig, and I'll catch you next time.